Hi, I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms and I wanna welcome you all to my channel. Now today's video, I took two different types of my wood pumpkins that I build for my booths and I'm walking you through how I uh, put them together uh, just from the start of the wood um, and why I used it. I try to use every piece of scrap. Um, so I hope you do enjoy it. Uh, and if you haven't been to my channel yet today, I want to thank you for stopping by. And if you do like DIY, upcycling, the day in the life of a small business owner, then you have found your channel. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you do like today's video, go ahead, give it a like. Um, and then let me know uh, what your thoughts are on the pumpkins. Is this something that you would try or you would buy? Uh, but uh, go ahead, give it a watch. So for our first project today, uh, we are going to take some four by fours. Uh, these pieces have been laying around forever and we're gonna make three sets of three. Uh, we're gonna make them all a little different and we're going to start by cutting them down. So I'm going to, I'm thinking like a six inch, an eight inch and like a 10 inch possibly. And we're gonna make a set of three. They're gonna be all coordinating, matching. So we're gonna start by cutting them down. Then we're gonna go ahead, paint and then decorate them up. Uh, to make them into beautiful little pumpkins. So let's go ahead and start with the cutting. So I got the cutting done. I did go with a six inch, an eight inch, and a 10 inch. And then I found a stick in my yard and I made, um, I just cut little stems uh, from the sticks. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start painting these. I'm gonna paint them all uh, and then we're gonna distress them. I really do like that distress type of look. Um, so after I paint them, probably gonna take a sander and sand them up a bit, uh, but let's go ahead and get the painting started. So to start this off, we are going to use a uh, pumpkin for one set. I am going to use linen white for another and possibly moss. I have to see how I like it. I want it more of like a, like kind of like a mossy green. So that might work. Um, if not, I have another green that I really like too. So let's go ahead and get started. Painting the pumpkins. So we're at this point, I have the first coat. I'm only doing one coat on each of these. And actually I was only gonna do three sets. I cut five and I thought, you know what? I'm really liking this uh, blue, uh, Serenity Blue. So we're gonna do that for the pumpkins. I do like um, the moss from Waverly. And then we're doing pumpkin um, for one. And then the ink. Waverly and then I'm going to do the white and we're going to do the um, linen white from Rust-Oleum. So right now these are all drying. They all have their first coat and I'm going to bring you out to start off the next project. All right so for starters what we're going to do is we're going to put polka dots on the tallest one and the smallest one and we're going to do stripes on this one. So to start with the stripes, what I'm going to do is I am just going to take my ruler here and my pencil and I am just going to at every inch mark, I'm just going to make a little tiny mark here just so that when I wrap my tape around uh, the actual um, four by four, it's going to be pretty pretty dead on. So I'll do that and then over here and I'll show you what I mean. But it just will make all my lines nice and straight. 
all the way around. Unless I move my, my <laughs> ruler like I did. Okay. So we're gonna start on top. Gonna go right around. And we're gonna just smooth it all around. And we're gonna start with the next one. And we're going to just do it every other so we can have a nice, even stripe. Okay, so now that we have it taped, we are just using, I'm just using like the standard um, Apple Barrel white paint and I am just gonna add my stripes. And I just have my, just a standard stencil brush, nothing. Actually this one, they don't even, I can't find it. It just, it was one of my favorite stencil brushes. I had picked it up years ago. And it just it always makes such nice crisp lines. I don't know. There's sometimes some stencil brushes just work better than others my go-to. But this is pretty easy to stay within the lines here. Let's see, where did I, okay, here it is. And there you have it. Now we have our first one. Let's go ahead and on my Cricut a while ago, I just printed off just a, a circle stencil. So just really something simple. Um, and then I'm just gonna randomly put circles on here. And there you have it. And we're gonna do the same thing with the little one here. So just randomly. On the white side, I wanted to do a, something just a little bit different. Uh, so I think I'm going to use, if you remember, I picked up these um, Thankful, Welcome, and I can't even think what the other one said. Um, so I'm going to use Thankful on this one. And we're going to just glue it on with the E6000 glue as well. And then what I'm going to do is I will still distress around the edges with the sander, um, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to have thankful on one. I'll put the black polka dots on the small one, and then on the medium one, I'll do the, the stripes. So it'll just be a little different added um, fun piece um, so that I can use some of these up that I had bought. So let me do that right now. And I probably could even put like, on maybe even on those other ones, I could even put like, welcome. 
Uh, so let's see on the other um, pumpkins. And there you have it. So we'll decorate it all up once uh, it dries. So for the next project, I like to call these my little barn quilt pumpkins. So I have always excess pieces of wood um, lying around after I do projects. And I hate throwing um, wood away with the cost of lumber these days. Uh, I always try to maximize everything. So uh, last year, actually it was two years ago, I came up with the idea of just creating like a little barn quilt pumpkin. So I took two pieces of um, lumber, put them side to side and just made little cuts to make them look like little pumpkins. So what we're gonna do is we are going to cut uh, I'm gonna make five little minis. Um, there's two different sizes I make. So I'm gonna make five of each size and I'm gonna do the same colors that I did with uh, the four by four pumpkins. We're gonna do a set of black, a set of white, um, the green. So we're gonna just mat match those up um, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So here I'm taking um, the pieces that I cut and I'm using um, the same similar colors as I did on the 4x4 blocks. So I am painting both sides just with the one coat uh, of paint and I'm using the moss, the pumpkin, um, the ink, uh, it, like I said, all the same colors that I did uh, for the 4x4s. So uh, it's, it goes by pretty quick and um, I'm really liking all these colors together. So our next step, um, now that we have these all painted, they are dry, is I am using these two inch cut masonry nails. They're like a flat nail, and I think they look so cute for the stem. So what we're gonna do is just take one side, I think I kinda like this um, as the top, and I am just going to place it, and I kinda tilt it a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and hammer it in. All right, and I like to do that prior um, just because uh, what I'm going to do then is we're going to glue these together and we're going to nail them. And I think the more quirky it looks, the better for the nail on the head. So we're going to do the two or the two inch for the small one. And I did uh, two and a half inch for the large one. So I'm going to go ahead, get these all um, in, or pounded in, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to glue them together and connect them. So for the next step, what I'm going to do is I will be taking the Gorilla Glue. And we're going to Gorilla Glue. This is like by far my favorite wood glue. And we're going to put the Gorilla Glue, and we are actually going to lay it down like this, and I'm 
I'm going to put so temporarily hold it together like this with the staples and then I'm going to go back with my brad nailer and I'm going to nail on each side of these to give it more added support. So let's go ahead and let this dry. So I plan on putting the welcome on this pumpkin and I'm going to block off and just paint uh, some of this white. So So, and I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Well, I'm going to move it down my hair, I think. And I'm just going, I'm going to distress this, so I'm not going to put like a super thick layer on here at all, because I want some of the black to come through. After it dries and we distress it, we will put the welcome on it like that. Now the little black pumpkin, we're going to just make him a little polka dots. Oh, something's going on. Oh, it bled through. What is going on here? Perfect. And then when I distress it, it'll take away any imperfections that I may have created. So I have the pumpkins ready to decorate. Uh, you can see I glued them on. There is a little bit of excess glue on the top, but it's still drying a bit. Um, I just wanted to make sure that those tops, I use that wood glue. Here's one that's completely dried. You can see a little bit, but I'm going to decorate around these sticks so it shouldn't be a problem. So I did all of that. I wanted to show you this too, the thankful. That turned out really cute. And then over here, um, how I finished off all of these. 
So now what I'm gonna do is decorate around the top of each one to give them a little bit of um, just, you know, just something and make these all look um, decorative as well. So I ended up picking up a bunch of different um, ribbons. Anytime I see any really fun ribbons, I always pick them up. So let's go ahead and start decorating. So what did you all think? I love these pumpkins. Uh, I actually had um, saw on a different video and I'm gonna look for it. Um, and they say it's at the Dollar Tree. It's wire that has, that looks like um, twine. And I thought about curly cueing that and adding it to the pumpkins as well. Uh, just a little added touch. I did not have time to go and check out to see if I could find wire like that but I saw it on a different uh, DIY post or video or somewhere, and I thought, well, that's kind of cool. So um, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, I am back to flipping. Um, I'm gonna take the items from my recent haul um, and do a flip for Monday's video and Friday's video. So uh, again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you um, next week, Monday. You enjoy the long weekend. Take care, bye.